incidents occurred during the early morning hours of Tuesday, July 22nd of 2014. Initial reporting by dozens of victims spurred an investigation that continues today and has resulted in arrests. On late Friday afternoon, July 25th, detectives with the Youth and Criminal Investigation Divisions made some great headway into this investigation by identifying and questioning multiple suspects. A total of seven suspects were contacted, which resulted in the arrest of two young adults. Additionally, two teenage juveniles were also criminally responsible for some of these incidents, and they were placed into custody and taken to the juvenile detention center for the offense of felony criminal mischief. This investigation broke when a traffic division officer observed a possible suspect vehicle involved in this case and alerted fellow detectives. The investigation revealed that the vehicle in question was a suspect vehicle involved in this crime spree. The investigation also revealed the following. Three suspect vehicles were linked to these incidents. One of the vehicles contained four BB pistols and BBs, which were subsequently seized. Initial damage appraisals continue to come in to our department from our victims. This process will take more time before final damage estimates can be accurately assessed. The department anticipates that the damage estimates will probably exceed over $20,000 and involve over 100 victims. The victims involved in these incidents need to contact the Criminal Investigation Division to set up appointments so they can provide their written damage estimates and any related photographs of damage. Adults arrested for fel felony criminal mischief were identified as Jaron Barnett and Taquan, T-A-Q-U-A-N, Brown, both, both age 17. The investigation continues and will be forwarded to the dist district attorney's office for review. It seems like once a year we have such crime sprees when persons decide to willfully destroy other people's property. We have a simple message. These are felony offenses and they will be investigated aggressively. These are not pranks, these are crimes. We sincerely regret that more than 100 of our citizens had to get more repairs to their vehicles after already replacing windows due to health damage. I can only assure you that we have found those persons who are responsible and now they will be held responsible. Anybody have any questions as it relates to the BB gun felony <coughs> investigation? I, I just to um, ask what viewers are asking on the Facebook page, uh, they were asking about a, a curfew of, of any kind. Or, can you address that? Has that ever been? Thought about it or? Juvenile curfews have been discussed in the context of the city, which would ultimately require a municipal ordinance adopted by the city council. I will be the first to concede that there are pros and there are clearly cons. Um, I'll, I'll give you one of the obvious positives is at least we would have some accountability for the persons out there in the streets. It would also give law enforcement essentially at least reasonable suspicion or possibly even probable cause to detain persons who are not accompanied by an adult. One of the clear cons is if we ultimately contacted some of those juveniles, what do we do with them during the ensuing minutes or possibly even hours while we're trying to find the responsible adults who should have these kids in their custody? Um, so it would, it would it'd take a, a greater collaboration than simply passing an ordinance and then tell the police department, okay, go out and enforce this. It would require a tremendous investment as it relates to resources, and we would have to have some type of a stopgap measure for when police officers eventually did counter these juveniles who were unaccompanied by a parent. What would they do with them? They'd have to take them somewhere because the officers, we simply do not have enough time to keep these children in the back of a black and white police car until we could eventually track down a responsible parent. Mm -hmm. Are they students? And if so, what campuses? I don't have that information. Sorry. Um, Anything else? Yes. Yeah. 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 You said we have these, it seems like once a year. Is there, in your thoughts, some kind of 
So our message at the police department is very clear. If you consider doing these felony type offenses in the, in the city of Avalon, we will thoroughly investigate you. And if we can identify you, we will seek your prosecution with the Terry County District Attorney's Office. I'm very sincere when I say this is not a prank. This is a criminal offense. And it is tragic that we just incurred probably $400 million in damage due to a hell storm. And then these ultimately Probably going to be five people go out and destroy willfully even more property. It's absolutely shameful. Okay. Let's transition yet again. 